find counterexamples to show that the statements in 9 through 12 are false. So you can only find counterexamples to universally quantified statements. And so you can see here we have a universally quantified statement. For all x, that's a real number. x is greater than or equal to 1 over x. So there are many ways of finding a counterexample. All you need is just one real number where this inequality is false. Now, technically, there are infinitely many numbers that you can pick to show that this is false, but you just have to find one of them. I'll give you one example, x equals zero. x equals zero is a real number, but zero greater than or equal to one over zero is technically neither true nor false because one over zero is undefined. And so does that show that this statement is false? Well, yeah, because I found an, a real number such that x is greater than or equal to one over x is not definitively true. But let's give a clearer example. What about x equals one half? Well, here we could see that one half is greater than or equal to one over one half, which is two, is false because one half greater than or equal to two is false. So one half is a real number that could be a counterexample to this universally quantified statement. When you're proving a universally quantified statement to be false, then that demands the existence of one counterexample. So whenever you find counterexamples, don't provide multiple, just provide one. If you provide multiple counterexamples, it makes it seem as though providing multiple counterexamples is necessary when in reality it's just fluff. You only need one counterexample to prove a universally quantified statement to be false. Thanks everyone and I'll see you in the next video.